adequate execution. Of course, you cannot possibly understand. You merely follow the instructions. Quickly, quickly, what is the time and the place? Uh, this would be North London, 2013. Of course. I must see the city immediately. See with my own eyes the myriad ways in which man has learned to elevate both himself and his fellow man. Apparently, I built a time machine that transported Nikola Tesla to the 21st century. Above certain frequencies, the ether is no longer bound by inverse square laws. One need only find the threshold values to erect a transmitter emitting a wave complex of special characteristics, then incorporate my unique method of telephonic control over any amount of energy. But the ether, as you seem to understand it, was disproved in your own time. We know there's no such thing as a pure Newtonian vacuum. Without the ether, a Tesla wave would not be possible. A Tesla wave is not possible. Particles do not travel faster than light. Your system must work using I have stick. constructed a functioning special magnifying transmission system. You can talk all you wish of your theories. Well, no offence, but there's value in understanding how things actually work. I wanted to go to the university and we can do tests and we can get this out there to the world. <laughs> Okay, there's something really weird going on with the weather and I'm pretty sure we had something to do with it. Clearly man has utilised the Earth's electromagnetic power. Attached his engines to the wheelwork of the universe. But considerations of mere utility weigh little in the balance against the higher benefits of civilization. Surely these discoveries have strengthened our hopes and expanded our minds. What great social advances have been wrought? Article, try not to read the comments. The evidence is unmistakable. Man has not acted on my discoveries. If we want to avert an impending calamity and a state of things which may transform the globe into an inferno, we must push the development of flying machines and the wireless transmission of energy without an instant's delay and with all the power and the resources of the nation. I must be introduced to the Kardashian family. He just wasn't behaving logically. I mean, he, he's, he's a, a scientist. Rather than a Kardashian, you might want to start with, say, David Cameron. A politician? These are not the visionaries who shape our world. I will speak with the great industrialists. Kale, if you just come back to the university with me, then I'm sure we can find someone who There can... is no time for your bureaucrats. Take me to Richard Branson. I found him to be arrogant and difficult. Um, he... and rude. I'm sure he would love to talk to you, but you don't just look up Richard Branson's address and ring the doorbell. You are clearly unfit to be my guide. My assistant must be a man of science, capable of striking boldly forward. Matt. The future of humanity is at stake. Technical instruments are being used not to free our imaginations, but to suppress them. I will liaise across the centuries and repair this damaged future. Defeatists such as yourself perpetuate a blind, faint-hearted, doubting world. My mission calls for men of action. Being realistic is not defeatism. You of all people should have figured that out. By the time he died in 1943, Tesla's finances were exhausted. He was virtually unknown to the public. And he lived in a small room in New York hallucinating and trying to communicate with the birds he'd feed in Bryant Park. You ended up broke and trying to talk telepathically to a pigeon. If you want to talk to rich people, then fine, I'm sure there are loads who would love to talk to you. Go and figure it out for yourself. Here, take some money for a cab.
revolution is an idea that has found its bayonets. The receiver didn't just bring Nicola here, it also brought someone else. Someone psychotic. 